Um, Big Boss Vet is in the building. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good as hell. You know, I'm feeling real, real good. You, you know, got some good news. Funny. Yeah, and I'm number five on TikTok. Hey, mm -hmm, hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah. <clears throat> I just moved to the A, you know, so we finna turn up down here for a second. Yeah. So you just moved here how long ago? A month now. It's been a month. For real? Yeah. So you was doing press down here? You just wasn't living down here? Yeah. Um, I have a good ass team down here. Like I got a good ass management team and mm. they be, you know, that's management, fire. PR, you know, they be. Congratulations. They be, thank you. Yo, talk to me about social media. I feel like you, um, you have been lit on multiple platforms at this point. First was Facebook, uh, TikTok, Instagram, mm -hmm. like, but you, I guess like when you first got signed or whatever, you ain't really, you ain't really like the TikTok wave. I'm, I'm confused. You got to explain it to me because I, from what I was gathering, you uh -huh. didn't really like the TikTok wave because there was so many rules and regulations yeah. and things like that. So, um, so when I first started TikTok, that was like back in what, 2020, either it was 2020 or 2021. It's like one of them. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, so like they was like so strict, but it's like being as though that the platform was like so new, mm -hmm. like I got hella, com like hella community guideline violations because i didn't know what i can and what i can't do because who the fuck reads them rules right yeah no facts. so um so at first i was just a tiktoker like i was doing sounds and all this shit but like people are coming like hey don't you rap too and i'm like yeah but uh, you know like this shit is too much for tiktok you know so um once i got signed they was like oh well you need to tell them that you were a rapper. I'm like, how? Like, mm -hmm. they already taking my shit down when I even try to put my music on there. So, you know, how? So, I was, like, scared to post for, like, hell. It's like, that, <laughs> that shit was depressing as fuck. Because, mind you, like, I had so many followers. But it's like, I don't want to get my page took. You know, like, that shit was too much. But um, being as though that they kind of strict and shit. But, like, they be... They be kind of having problems within the app as well. Mm -hmm. Like, they would just ban you out of nowhere and you ain't did shit. So, if you don't have a good team to, like, reach out to them, be like, hey, like, give us the page back, you just out of luck, you know? Damn. And it is so many creators' pages getting took. It's just like, ah. So, yeah. I ain't want to be one of them. But um, I first started telling them that I was a rapper. I think it was wonderful. Oh, I have one. Your followers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had first started telling them that I was a rapper when I was from the job. I think it was Eater, mm -hmm. but TikTok helped banning my banning my uh, sound because Eater is like vulgar and shit. So I'm like, I do not want to get my page to. Then they were blocking me. Like, yeah, you uh, like I have never got blocked on TikTok. So I'm like, what the fuck? So long story short, they they did let me promote it, but not as much as I could could have basically. So I'm like, okay. What does that mean though? Like, not as much as you could have. How do they let you? But um, okay, give you so restriction like, guidelines and shit. Yeah, so um, you gotta post certain parts of the uh, song. Like, you can't okay. post the two vulgar parts. Um, okay. Let me see. Uh, you can't twerk, but well, certain people can twerk and certain people can't twerk. Because if you go out on your TL, you are gonna see certain people twerking and, you, and others can't. You know. Yeah. Um, you can't do that. Um, you you really can't have liquor in your hand. You can't be on hookah. You can't do nothing for TikTok. This nothing, is ridiculous. yeah, nothing. So basically, this this was a learning process. Like I straight had to go through trials and tribulations for like <laughs> like months. Mm. Like it was depressing as fuck. And I'm like, bro, TikTok is not my platform. Like I can't do it. You know, and. The more that my label was like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Like, I got a good ass a and &R. Like, he just be pushing me. Like, even them days to where I feel like that I can't do that shit, he be like, yes, you can, bro. Like, oh, that's dope. yes, you can, you know? So I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And then it just started to work. I'm like, oh, shit. That's how you, <laughs> you know? But it's like, if. What were you trying, though? Like, talk to me. I thought we skipping like, some steps uh, here. Don't okay, skip me. So, nothing. like, I was, like, trying to, like promo my music on there but I didn't know how like on Facebook you could just post the video you like singing it you know right. um on Instagram and Twitter you could like do the same thing but on TikTok like you got to add like a storyline to it you know so like um I'm trying to think I'm trying to think so for the little snatch right I had actually made up a dance while I was on a treadmill and I'm like okay well you know I could just do that you know and 
I didn't expect it to like go crazy, but I was just trying to do something so I can like put my music out of there or whatever. So I was promoing this this November of last year, and it took off February of this year. Well, the, the the end of January, the beginning of February. That's not this too year. long. That's not too long. That's long as fuck. November, January. That's not. Some people be promoting <laughs> songs for like a whole year. So every day, I I did the dance every day, every day, every day. I'm posting this shit every day, and. After a while, people started to do it, and I'm like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> honestly speaking, um, like being as though that I am, I am a ratchet rapper, which which I am, you know, growing to become, you know, different, and you know all that. Um, everybody was like, hey, we shouldn't put this out because this sounds like yo other records. Mm-hmm. Let's do something different, right? So I had to make them believe believers that sure. this was a fucking hit, mm-hmm. you know. So. After I constantly kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. So my um so my I don't know Justin, he was like, This shit gonna work. I said, I know. I know, <laughs> I know you know. So I just kept on trying, kept on trying, and then sooner than later, you know, um, people were like millions of fucking followers was like doing my dance. I'm like, gosh. That's hard. Like Sheesh, you know, I was just doing, you know, some little two, two little stuff because I don't know how to dance. <laughs> I can't dance, whatever. Everyone knows that, okay. But it's just like to like see that shit happen is, is amazing, you Facts. know? And it's like, sheesh, like, thank y'all so much. It's almost know? like a dream come true, right? It's like it you, is. Was, you was working so hard for this to, to happen and then it happened. It's like, yeah. yo, I knew, sometimes it's like, I knew it was going to happen, but when it happened, it's like, Damn, I didn't think it was going to happen. The whole time you knew it was going to happen. Knew. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. So my whole life, like, I I always knew that I was destined to be great. Like, mm-hmm. I always knew that I was bigger than the problems that I was going through, you know, because mm-hmm. I grew up broke. You know, I did. So being as though that I worked so fucking hard to, to not go through what I went through, mm-hmm. it's like, it's finally fucking paying off. You know, it's like, I knew this shit, you know, like. I just knew that I was big in all that shit. And now that I'm getting bigger, it's like, goddamn, like, yeah. sheesh. You're a you star know? for sure in the making. Like, not even in the making. You really won right now. <laughs> it's crazy. Your song <laughs> is you. number five. Number you were just about to give up on TikTok. And then, look. Boom. Look how God worked. I mean, I don't know if you believe in God or not. But, but yeah, I believe um, in God. I'm just making sure. I believe in God. Uh, you're from St. Louis. Right? I'm from the Lou. 314. Yeah. From, from, the, from the Lou. You know what's crazy? Uh, so I'm from Baltimore, right? Every mm-hmm. time I get a chance, I rep Baltimore. I I literally heard that accent. You know, it's you like do? boom, it's strong as shit. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. no, nah, we got the accent. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So when when I was um looking for you and stuff, and I was uh, doing my research, mm-hmm. one thing that caught my attention was like St. Louis is it sounds similar to Baltimore, and what I mean by that is like I don't have a lot of attention when it comes to um, the music scene mm-hmm. of getting like signing people and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I did here is, you know, there's a lot of violence there. Hell yeah. Um, but I never, I, I feel like for me, but maybe because movies was created, like The Wire, shit like that. You hear Baltimore, you know it's, it's crazy, it's ratchet. Yeah. But I would have never thought of that for St. Louis. Really? Um, St. Louis is like, um, it's very hard to make it out of my city. Like, honestly speaking, like I was blessed to have made it about my city because. It's nobody there scouting for talent, and we got so much fucking talent, mm. you know? So, being as though that I had went viral on Facebook first back in 2014, so that is that is what built the platform that I have now. This is the first song, or was this for the Jerry Springer stuff? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> no, Jerry Springer was after I went viral. Okay. Um, I, okay. I went viral first because I did a cover to uh, Try Me by Dej Loaf. Okay. And after I did that cover... I went viral. Like, I had posted it at, like, 7-something at night, and I woke up the next day and forgot that I posted a fucking singing slash rapping video, honestly. And um, I had posted a picture because I was cute, you know. I'm like, oh, I'm going to just post yeah, shit. Yeah, get your cute on. Get your and, cute on. Pop your shit. In, like, 30 minutes, that shit had, like, a thousand and a thousand and some likes. I said, hold the fuck up, nah. What the fuck? You know, I'm over here thinking somebody hacked my page. You know, they were <laughs> playing with me like it is a... I don't know, you know, problem somewhere. All right, so I posted a second picture, and that was like maybe in the within the same hour, and then she had a thousand likes too. So I'm like reading the comments, and they're like, "Oh my god, oh my god, you so pretty, you so pretty, oh my god, you can rap, you can rap." And I'm like, 
bitch, I straight posted that fucking video. Let me go see it. That shit was like at 100K views. I said, oh, shit. And that's huge. Back in what, 2014? 100K is crazy. And one fucking night. And, yeah. and that was from 7 p.m. to when I woke up the next morning to go to school. Because I was in uh, high school. I think I was a junior. Junior, sophomore. I was, I was, I was one of them. So... Back in that, I'm just like, she's mind you, I was broke too. So I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna look like some to these people? Like, <laughs> what the fuck, you know? So, um, and then like I didn't I didn't really grow up with like a businessy family. So so like what I mean by that is like if I have a child and my child goes viral, boom, I already know. Okay, so listen, um, you might have brand brand uh deals. Um, you gonna keep on posting content, you know, you gonna have Photo shoots and shit, but my mom and them was just honestly. I think they were blocked from my social media back then because that right. was just. She, my I was mom blocked as a now. Ooh, woo, yeah. Gotta do it. No, my mom blocked right now. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know how to work it. She be commenting people and shit like, "Mom, relax. Like, if you want to support me, I love it. I appreciate it." But she be doing all this. Extra my mom got me on every fucking thing. Like, I can say, "Oh my god," she be like, "What's wrong?" Nothing. Shh. Like, like, relax. Sit down. You know. Yo, wait. How was your but parents? Because no. huh? you got this whole snatch shit, right? Huh? And like you be twerking and like yeah. you know doing a little, what's, yeah. you know the girls do that shit. Yeah, yeah. both of my Your friends. Your mom's on my social media. My they, mom and my dad is on my social media. They don't ever like take none of it personal. They never hit you up like I need you. I think you need to relax with the ass uh, shaking. Hell no, nah, because they know for a fact that when I get rich, I'm gonna take care of both of them. So you yeah. gotta let me do what I'm doing, you know, because we have to get this money. And I'm talented as fuck, and they already know that I'm not out here selling pussy. So you know, it's like whatever. No nah, facts. No nah, facts. You know. Niggas sell everything but pussy. That Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this. So I guess the the problem with TikTok was you were doing a lot of covers and they wouldn't allow. No. So the problem with TikTok was I was doing like twerking, trying to promote my, my music. And I was like, no, bitch, you cannot. So they was the real parents. Like yeah. they was more parents Fuck than it. your oh parents. Oh my God. They was so fucking strict. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I don't even want to post on this shit. Like I was going like weeks without posting. Like then say I would like post a, po- post a popular sound, right? They would block my video. But not the fucking sound. Mm. Then I would have to, um, I would have to uh, appeal it, and they would put my put my video back up. But I would still be blocked. Like, how the fuck does that work? Like, TikTok has a bug in its system right now. Like, they they actually have to fix it because when you are not in the uh, wrong, they still block you like mm. you were wrong. Facebook do that shit too, though. Facebook do it. TikTok do it. I haven't got blocked. Well, I got blocked from Twitter, but that was kind of my fault. So, you know, I, all right. You <laughs> what know, you doing on Twitter? Um, I went viral. It's hard to get blocked on Twitter. You must have some crazy uh, shit. I went viral because um, I don't know if you remember, but, like, when, like, those little videos were, like, going viral, like, it was, like, me practicing how to put my, no, hold on. Okay, no. I was, like, how me How many times you went viral? Practicing. Like, I, I go viral every year. I don't. I just be regular and they just be like, what's up, bitch? I'd be like, oh, shit, we here again. All right, cool. It's again. I'm here. It's too I'm here. So um, I was like doing a video. It was like me practicing how to throw a drink on a bitch in a uh, club. You know, it was just a random or fucking video. Yeah. And, um, shit. I had. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Because <laughs> those type of videos were like how you going viral. How you doing? Show me. Um, don't throw it. I, no, I was okay. like, okay. First I was like, nah, that ain't right. That ain't right. And I was like. Nah, I might have, I might have, I might have seen some videos like then that. I had, then I had drunk it, turned around, and, and spit that shit out, and then I threw the cup, and I'm like, that's it right there, <laughs> boom, that was that, right? So I went viral, mind you. I didn't even use a cup. I used the, I, I used the plastic bowl, and they were like pointing that shit out, and like, first off, I'm from the loop. We Joan, right? We, tch, bitch, if you say something left, we gonna say something left there. You know, we always gotta go lower. You know, and um. That was like trying to like join on me and shit. So it was a, <laughs> it was a dude. <laughs> he had said, I look ratchet or raunchy. I don't know. He, he had said something trying to basically hurt my uh, feelings. But you can't hurt our fucking feelings. You know me. We ain't got no feelings right here. You know? So like, when yeah, he no had said right. that, I'm like, nigga, you look like them fucking dogs on your profile picture. And and they was some ugly ass, skinny ass, long nose ass dogs. They was ugly as a motherfucker. We should know so, that. Aha, uh-huh, bitch, hold up now. You know it was that. And then um, it was a girl. Um, she be like trying to like dry her eyebrows on, and them motherfuckers be ugly. I'm like, yeah. bitch, eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, bitch. Them shits are cousins, bitch. That shit's ugly <laughs> as fuck. What you talking about? You know, it was that. Um, it, like I was, I was just going. And then one thing I said that had got me blocked. I had told some some damn person. I'm like, ah, bitch, play in traffic. They talking about something that I was. 
promote suicide. How the fuck? That is the same. How am I promote suicide? Do not fucking kill yourself for real, now. All right, now. Do I'm not take that shit literal. I'm gonna show you something. I'll see if I can pull it up. I got blocked on um Instagram. <laughs> How right? for what? Bro. It was two times for the dumbest shit ever. You need to stop getting blocked because they're going to take your page and don't give a fuck. I yo, swear, Instagram on, be on it. Yo, but they be on some dumb shit. I, uh, That's Facebook and Instagram link now. I was dancing. I was. I, I did a uh, TikTok with somebody or whatever in here. And somebody said, they commented on a dance. I'm like, yo, pull up next week so I can beat you in a dance contest. They said, Beat? You can't say beat. What? Beat like, you. <laughs> beat you. It's like you want to fight them. Right. So that's one time. So I, I then the second time I um commented on somebody picture like, yo, <laughs> I hit you, dog. Hit me, hit me when you get a chance. You can't say hit. My, like what? Like, yeah, like you know, yeah. I straight be having a double, triple, quadruple read my fucking comments before I post them on Facebook and Instagram. Like I'm not, I'm not fucking with them platforms because they would just take your shit like it's nothing. Like, bro, this is how I feed my family. Mm-hmm. Like y'all crazy, you know. So um, I got. I didn't get blocked, but I got a warning on Instagram because somebody fucking commented trying to be funny under some shit when a uh, blog posted me. And that bitch look, looked like a fucking couch potato. So I said, <laughs> you look like a potato. That's all I said. They said, this comment goes again. They even took my page down, so you couldn't put my Sheesh. page up till I said, okay, to this fucking warning shit. Are you like, serious? Bro, I was, I was so fucking mad, so I was gonna make a fucking fake page and then a comment, because y'all got me fucked up. Block this page, not that That's why one. you gotta make the Finsta. Yeah. Ain't that what people do now? I need a Finsta. I don't, I, don't, I don't really have a Finsta, but I, but I need one. Yeah, I never, I never made one. So do you, you ever be scared when you go through them situations and they uh, violate you or scared that you're, you're going to lose your page because you make money from me? You got Hell a lot yeah. of followers. I got banned from TikTok um, for no reason. Like, this is what I'm talking about. TikTok woke up one day and chose to fuck violence with me. Mm. They banned me. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know? So I'm like, what did I do? So I'm contacting my... Um, Digital person, she is the fucking best. Okay, you must say who do you and, contact at this person at this oh, point? Um, give me the plug because just in case, I probably my need to label appoints me a digital marketer. So oh, excuse be the fuck me, because what the fuck? Like, yeah, but no, listen, they actually have them out here though. Like you, you, you actually might be able to find them. Honestly speaking, mm. but you gotta find the real ones because they be hackers out here pretending to be in my so I swear to God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I had contact her and i was i was i was really crying about shit like for real because like that shit is really how i get my bread and butter like stop fucking playing me you know like why you block me like what the fuck i do so she asked them why they blocked me two days later they unblocked me to my son it was a mistake on they end like mm. how the fuck can y'all just block me like that bro like like that shit is not cool like i was so fucking sad like that shit put me in a very bad Headspace because I worked so hard for this shit for y'all to just wake up one day and be like take her page for no reason. What yeah. the fuck? That shit is. What it's, the fuck? It's like, crazy bro. how. It's crazy how like social media got this hold on us for real. It's far like it's like we make our money from social media. It got a hold on people far as um how, how they want to dress uh how they talk how they talk how like how they want to be perceived. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like it's really it's me being a little bit older. It's easier. It's easy for me to say. Yo, all these kids care. All these kids care about the social media nowadays. But when you sit back and think about it, I mean, that's really what our life revolved around. To be honest, it even is. me, and I'm I'm 30. Just being honest, you know what I'm saying? We I, I connect on Instagram. I work on Instagram. So I like it's it's crazy to hear people like older people like talk down on the kids that's doing social media and shit like because that. Because all they all they know is the fucking work. You know, like mm-hmm. if if you not a Entrepreneur, then you don't want to be it, say it, say it, what? entrepreneur. <laughs> then you wouldn't want to be on social media. But we don't, we don't do no nine to five. Yeah, we actually work on this motherfucker. You know, so it's like do question. Not my page. Could you date a guy with a nine to five? Huh? Um, when I when I first started rapping, um, yeah, my significant other had a nine to five. Was it a girl or a guy? A girl. Okay. This was the toxic one? Fuck nah. The nigga was toxic. My oh, it was a guy. So that's what made you go gay? Oh, Fuck answer nah. the question first. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no, first off, okay. We, 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 answer the question first. Could you, could right you, could you Which date? one you want me to answer first? Could Am I date? gay or or the nine to five? Could you date a guy with, with a nine to five? Can can I date a guy with, with a nine to five? Um, 
I actually can, but I don't know if he will ever be able to date me because I be out. Like, I be just mm, you be moving. Outside. No, I don't be outside. I be working, you know? So, and then, like, I'm a clingy. Uh, no, nah, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm a clingy ass person. So, if you can't be with me when I'm working all this shit, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. That was Libra. Better. What's your song? I'm a Libra. Libra? I'm a loving fucking Libra. Okay, so the guy that was really toxic. Okay, yeah. That put um, you in that little trans of. Oh, so Weird first space. off. Um, I have always liked the women as well, you know. I mm-hmm. always liked the men as well, you know. So, um, yeah, like, yeah, I just like what I like, you know. I fall in love with vibes, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like you got that like that whole line down pack now. Like, don't come here with that. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a, pan, whole, I'm a pansexual, you know. I, I like what I like. Talk, yeah, you talk, know? talk to me yeah. some shit. Don't say I, I fall in love with vibes. I, feel I like, I heard like that before. what I like, you know. So, um, yeah. So basically, after. The, the toxic ass relationship with a man, I was not looking for a relationship. I was gonna be outside. What are you talking about? You know, hold on that. You know, <laughs> you cute, I'm cute. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute, you know? And um being as though that I was locked away for like damn near three years, that I was cheating back because bitch, don't fucking cheat on me. You crazy, you know? I was cheat I was cheating back, you know, mm-hmm. but being as though that I was like not really in the public eye, I knew for a fact that once I said I'm single, oh yeah, they on me. They on me. Yeah, they on me, you know? So um I was going to the clubs and shit, and so basically, um, my significant other had a had a had a different agenda. He was like, "Nah, bitch, you ain't outside. Fuck nah, <laughs> hell nah, nah." Well, first, she didn't know that I can be outside. You know, she was like, "Oh, hey, well, um, you can talk to whoever you want to. All right, cool, boom." And then she was like, "Hold on, bitch." Nah, you crazy. That's I'm, how hold, it be. hold up, now, bitch. You told me I can hold on. <laughs> you said I could talk to whoever. What's going on now? You know, and you know when you snatch a motherfucker soul, it's different. You know, now it's like, oh no, you you can't talk to that person. Why not? You know, hold up. You you said this rule first. You know. Speaking of snatching somebody's soul, have you ever got your soul your soul snatched? Whereas though you the one start falling in love. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. How, 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 how was that in that moment? Um, Getting your soul snatched and you like, damn. That shit different. Like Clink, clink. That that shit different. Like, I don't know. It just it just be a different fucking feeling. Like, you could be you could be thinking like, oh, yeah, we just finna fuck whatever. <laughs> so we doing. So we doing. Benefits. So we doing. Like, and. It's over. Uh, yeah. It's a wrap. Like, yeah. She like got my ass. <laughs> Yo, what, uh, what, made, what the fuck was you think about when you made this song? I feel like this is a, 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 um, a anthem for the for the ladies now. First off, I I made the song because it was it was a simple going viral, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I'm like I want to hop on this simple, you know. But I wanted to wanted to be my beat, so I had my producer make me a beat and put that sample in it. When it was so when it first started to go viral. And it was time for my label to go clear that motherfucker. They didn't clear it. They would have cleared it, but they would have taxed me to clear that shit. You know, I can't Sheesh. do that. I can't. This I can't. is your label? No, 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 no. The, the people Whoever that owned it. Yeah. Okay, okay. They were going to okay. tax us to like, clear the shit, you know. And being as though that I'm an upcoming fucking rapper, you know, I can't be getting taxed for shit. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. And I'm not going to sit here and act like that I can. Because, mm-hmm. no, fuck no, I cannot. So... With that being said, it's my label. Like, we got to make some work. Because I was missing deadlines with this shit because this shit was supposed to be out already, you know? So I'm like, let me get in this booth and say something, you know? So when I was like, he want to dive in it, that was me doing that shit. And my producer kind of made my voice different Mm -hmm. to make it seem like that it wasn't me, but it's me. And, yeah, everything on that song is me besides that. I'm I'm from the corn part. That ain't me. So what what made you um what like what you was when you was making this song? Uh huh. Like what was you drunk? Was you in a vibe? What vibe was you in? Like what what was your headspace when you was mm, making this song? I was in that. I'm a very competitive person. Like I'm competitive as fuck. Like even if it's a friendly competition, I'm still competitive. You know, I was like sending shit go viral. I'm like I'm finna I'm I'm finna eat this hoe. I'm God. I'm finna mm. I'm finna eat this hoe. You know, I got on that shit. And I ate that shit. So you made. So you, your intention was to make something to go viral. Yeah, that's what you wanted. No, to no, do. no, I no. My intention was to just put out a fire ass song. Like mm. I just knew it was gonna be fire as fuck. You know, like I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna smoke this joint. So when I put it out, well, when I was teasing that shit, they was like, drop this shit now, bitch. Mm. I'm like, okay, yo. But when you sign to a label, you can't just make a song and then be like, drop this shit. Fuck no. You know, you gotta have some. 
momentum, you mm-hmm. know? So I'm like, I got to make people want this song. How the fuck am I going to do that? I'm like, with a dance, right? Mm, you gonna try. So I've been doing the dance, like, nonstop. Like, it is like a... She going crazy It's like 100,000 and something recreates to my song. I'm about 100,000 of them motherfuckers, okay? Yeah. Like, I, like, you have to believe in yourself before anybody else does, basically. And... I believe that this song was a fucking hit. I knew it. So what made you go the um I guess you said it first. You was like ratchet, I guess. What made you go the Ratchet Lane? Yeah, that rap route. Um, so my first song I put out, it was not ratchet. I ain't even gonna fake it. Um it was like it was like bubblegumish, popcornish, you know, it was like uh whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, hmm, nah. And then I was like, I need to I need to I need to come harder. So mm. I'm in the lab thinking about it, like how the fuck am I gonna come harder? And I was studying other um artists and shit, and I'm like, oh, okay, they only make ratchet shit, you know? That's what the fuck we going viral for? Cool, okay, cool. You know, I could do that shit. So mind you, I'm competitive. So That's I, where the competitive part. So came I from. hopped in that lane. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna smoke this out, and I came up with Ratchet Twerk song. That's that shaking ass, posting pictures. Who oh, I'm fucking tonight, bitch, oh nigga. You know, that's that's the that's the ludicrous move, bitch, beat, right? Mm. And that shit, that shit went viral. Like that is, that is what first started getting me booked and all that shit. I'm like, oh shit, they booking me, you know, to sing this song. Like this ain't even my beat. This ain't even my beat. Oh shit. Huh? No, they said I had something on my chin. Thank you. Ah, I'm over here. It wasn't doing. I was waiting for you to move it up. Oh my god. I'm over here moving my hair and shit, thinking that time. No, you look good. You are. You straight. Him out. Okay, so um. So that shit caused me to go viral. Then I did Bad Bitch. Bad Bitch is going viral on TikTok right now, you know, mm. but that ain't my beat. But I still claim them lyrics because that shit is mine. Bitch, I wrote that shit. Fuck that, you know. And that that shit going viral, which is going to cause me to re-put that motherfucker out because when it was out, it didn't get the recognition that it should have, you mm. know. So now that I'm going to re-put that bitch out, oh, yeah, it's going to go crazy. So I know question. It. Since you got a, uh, since you got a, um, like a, a, a girl anthem right now. Mm-hmm. Give me your top three best girl anthems of all time. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. So one of my girl anthems that I really like is, you know, new, but this motherfucker going crazy. Do y'all know what I'm finna say? F U C K for nigga. No, it's crazy. You know? I'm mad you said that because you just fucked up my next question. I'm Shit. Sorry. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> but go ahead. Um, that's why I go crazy. But I that's like top that. three of all time. You were gonna put that. Yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Because she. D- that she deserved crazy. that shit. S I N G L E. Yeah, yeah. That shit crazy. Yeah, that shit yeah. hard. Right, yeah. So that's three. Which other two? Um, another one I like is that. Real ass bitch, give a of fuck course. about a nigga. Yeah, Big like Berkham, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, you know. That shit go crazy. And I'm trying to think. Another girl anthem I like. Number oh, one oh, all oh, time. Oh. Come on. Um, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna categorize this one, two, or three. We just gonna say them. Ah, nah, we ain't, we ain't doing that. Nah, we ain't, we ain't doing that. Um, I'm trying to think of another girl anthem that I be singing. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Um. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. And that's my ratchet twerk song. That shaking mm. ass, posting pictures. Who I'm fucking tonight, okay. bitch, I'm nigga. Like, if I get on stage with these hoes that know that shit, I don't even got to sing that shit. They come sing it for me. And mm. I'm just be like. So that's top three? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I must be an old nigga because I'm thinking of like. What you thinking? Khalees, my neck, my back. Lick my pussy and my that crack. Shit go I love crazy. that. You only gave me three options. Yeah, give me, top give three. me, give I me mean, more. You gotta, you it gotta... ain't no top three. I love all my bitches. Yeah. All my bitches. Yeah, who, 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 your fa- who your favorite female it. rapper right yeah, now? Yeah, crazy. Nope, we ain't doing that. So, no, I mean, you could, so, where did you get the, where did you get the, uh, you, the, the big boss vet, right? Big I, boss vet. Okay. I feel like a lot of, was it, was it vet at any time or it was, was it always? Yvette. It was Evet. Okay. First. That was your artist name, Evet? Evet, yeah. Okay. I got that shit when I was in fucking middle school because I was wearing those bobs and shit like, Taraji B. Henson and Baby Boy just came out. Mm. So that shit was like popping. <laughs> and they was like, oh, you look like Yvette. And then they was like playing around calling me that shit at first. But mind you, you know, I don't I don't like being called nicknames because what the fuck, you know, I ain't nah. So um, I'm like, that ain't my name, that ain't my name. But they called me it so much that the fucking teacher started calling me that shit. I'm like, fuck it, that's my name at this fucking point. So I was Yvette 
uh, up until 2021 when I first got signed. And um, we couldn't trademark the name because it was it's a clothing brand or something like that. And it's really huge. So if I For real? Yeah. So Man. if I started to like try to do merch and shit, they would have came for their coin because that's theirs. Yeah, no, facts. I wasn't fucking with that. No, that's... No coin left behind. None. <laughs> None. So I literally wrote a song called Big Boss Vet. And literally, like, I'm like, it ain't even, was it out yet? I don't even know if it was out yet. But I'm like, I can just do, like, I could just be Big Boss Vet, you know, because why not, you know? Mm. And then that song's like, Big Boss Vet, bitch, you better come correct, yeah. Every time you say bitch, you give me uh, Kevin Gates vibes. Like, every really? time, yeah, why? every time you say, I don't know, it's like the emphasis <laughs> on the, like, bitch, like, it's something like Kevin Gates. <laughs> like, That's my favorite cuss word. <laughs> niggas is crazy. <laughs> so, mm, I keep, like, I do cuss a little. <laughs> So, um, after, so how do you feel about the, cause I feel like it's been a cycle of this last past couple of years of like girls with the, the, the name big in front of them. Mm-hmm. And it's like, nah, I'm big, I'm big lotto. Or I'm big this. And like, mm-hmm. I was big first. Well, I'm the biggest. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about that? Do you ever feel like people won't come for your neck on that? Or it's like, nah. Mm, no. No. I'm sorry. So how do you feel about the, the, the big in front of the name anyway? Like, do you have any opinion on that? No. Nope. If, if you want to be big, be big. You want to be big, you be you I, be big. I asked that because I never understood the the whole back and forth. Like I never understood like the beef and shit like that. Because it was like Lotto was beefing with Renny Rucci, right? Mm-hmm. But over the big shit, you know what I'm about that? I know. No, 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 no. I I seen it. So when I saw your name, I my first question was, I wonder if it was always Big Boss Vet. No, it was Eve at first, mm. but I had a um, song called Big Boss Vet, and I'm like, why not? Like Big Boss Vet, bitch, you better go. You no, know? I get it. Why not? So now I'm Big Boss Vet. Like, How is it being signed? Um, so it, so let me just tell you the things that people don't tell you about being signed. Talk so to me. when somebody gets signed, they just think, think that they made it. They just think that whenever they put out a song, it's gonna get a million views in one day. Fuck no. Before we finish, I'm sorry to cut you off. Damn, I keep like, but um, go ahead. Before before I cut you off, I mean. Before we finish, yeah. What label is it again? Re- Republic Records. Republic Records, okay. Yeah. I apologize. Now you go. Oh, no, you're fine, you're fine. Um, being signed means you got to do more work. Like, this shit gets harder after you're signed. Like, you, you got to meet deadlines. You got to do PR. You, got, you, you have to do a lot of shit. Like, a lot of shit. Mm. Um, you got to go through clearances. Like, if you have anything that sounds like anybody else's song in your fucking track... Either you have to change that shit or you got to get it clear. So that's going to put your release date back however the fuck long that it takes to be clear. Mm. Um, You got to market yourself. Like, you got to work so hard to, like, get yourself to 50. When you went 50, then your label going to push you to 100. Mm. But you have to be at fucking 50 because they're not just going to push you because it's like, yeah. Mm. Why? You know? Mm. You don't want to work, so why should we work? You have to work hard for for every fucking thing that you want. Everything. Every fucking thing. Like, nothing is given. And it is easier to be worked with if you are a nice, welcoming person who wants to work. But if you want these bitches in the industry that don't want to fucking work this shit, nah. Mm. People ain't going to want to work for you. It's like, what the fuck? Like, you so mean. Why? But when I get big... Mark my words, cause y'all gotta pull this clip back up. No, nah, for sure, I'm gonna pull it up. For when sure. I get big, I'm for I'm forever going to be this lovable ass person that I am now. Like, I can't be mean. Like this, that's not me. I mean, if we got to get with it, we got to get with it. But coming off, I'm not no mean ass bitch. Y'all, so I'm not gonna be one. You know, that's not me. That's good. With or without money, I'm not no mean ass bitch. I'm this lovable ass ball of fucking. Energy that you just love to fucking be around, you know. You in the industry now? Have you ever been? Have you ever met somebody that you always looked up to and they was different when you met them? Mm, no. No, I ain't no excuse no. like that. Not, not yet. I have not. But now hopefully you don't. They were like that. You don't want to meet your, um, you don't want to meet your favorite person because they're gonna let you down. Mm, that's yeah. why I asked that. Hopefully so, not. But it's crazy because you keep saying. You, I think it's really dope and um and humbling. That like uh, you keep saying when I get big, when I get big, but mm-hmm. you you hear so many people say I want to get signed. I talk to so many people on a daily basis that want to get signed, and they have no idea that that's just the the start Woo, of it. That shit. When you get signed, it's it's like you starting over from from square one. Mm. You have to prove to every fucking body in this industry that you deserve a spot here. Mm. 
And then you you have to make your spot bigger than every fucking body else is on this on this fucking planet, honestly. You just gotta get big. Like you just gotta you have to force your name there. Like, bitch, this is this is me. And I worked so hard to fucking get here. So I'm so I'm gonna be big. That's it. Like Facts. that's it, that's all. Like <laughs> So how was the I mean, we can't ignore it. I mean, you get signed up. Some something gotta come with it. The the bread come with it. How was the first check? Was it like life changing or it was like all right? Um, I stayed was in the hood. Middle? I stayed in the hood, right? And um so when I got signed, I'm like, okay, well, when when they were thinking about signing me, because I had 13 label deals. Mm. Yeah, I had 13. So I'm like, we got to keep this shit quiet. Mm. We got to shh. We got to be quiet, you know? I was in the hood, too, so I'm like, this shit got to be quiet. Like, you, we don't want people knowing that I got all this shit going on because they're going to think that I got something right now that I ain't got shit, you know? Mm. I had a 2016 Honda. Well, Hyundai, I think it was a Sonata. I had a house in the city with my girl, you know? Um. And I did her. Shit, I ain't had shit else to give nobody. But social media uh, make it seem like that they can just come in and just take like a million fucking dollars from me, you know? Mm-hmm. So we we kept it quiet till we couldn't keep it quiet no more. And once I knew that we couldn't keep it quiet no more, I'm like, we got to move up, move up out this house. Because everybody knew where we stayed at. Because mind you, I did her out of my house. So they knew where we stayed at. I'm like, I can't. Nah, we can't do this, you know? So the same day that it hit platforms that I was signed was the same day that I moved about the house. Mm. Like fucking not y'all ain't. You was able to move with the check that they get they signed you nah, with? Nah, I um I actually moved with my sister. Like I moved with her because our condo wasn't wasn't ready yet. So we had a nice condo. But did the label pay for the condo? Hell yeah. All right, that's what I'm trying to ask. Hell I'm trying yeah. to figure out if they kicking Fuck on yeah. some, some real yeah. money. Yeah, they is kicking on some real money, but that money ain't yours. You gotta pay that shit back. Talk you got to me. pay that shit back. When? Like, is it like a deadline? It ain't no deadline, but it's like the more you make, they're going to take their bread back. You know, it's like you don't make money until you pay back your advancement, basically. Is it plus interest? Nah, it ain't plus interest. It's just paying it back? Yeah, paying it back. <clears throat> let's, let's, let's rewind for a second. Mm-hmm. Um, you had a few managements. Yeah. Um, and I guess one of your managers... Uh, put up some money and he wanted his money back Who did? this was like i don't know if it was the second manager this is this was the one that i think y'all y'all broke up on good terms something like that because you had one man you had a few managements right mm-hmm. yeah, yeah um I'm trying to remember i think because you you believe that management's supposed to put up money right and help you right yeah you had one manager that uh, uh-huh. I don't remember. I don't. I don't know if it was my name, but I know it was one I time you said. I don't name drop, so it's cool. Yeah, it was. It was a manager that that uh-huh. was that was helping you. with they they bought you something, but they wanted their money back. And they uh-huh. were asking for more or something like every, that. Every every manager that I have ever had got their money back, mm. but they got their money back and wanted wanted more, wanted or more, wanted some shit that I couldn't give them. So. Mm. So when you say more, is it more money? What what was it that you it couldn't give them? A lot of shit. And um, a lot of managers put me in a lot of situations that I shouldn't have been in. So like after what? they, I give me give me a give me a couple more, and I'll be able to t- and, and I'll be able to tell you, but I can't tell you right now. Okay. But it's alright. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna spin a block when I'm bigger. Give me a second though. All I right. promise. Okay. But um, yeah, they had wanted some shit that I couldn't give them. Um, and then they then they left me for dead. And now they see me getting bigger. It's like oh well. I did this for you and I did that for you. But they leaving out the fact to where everything that they have ever done for me has been given back to them. Everything. Mm. Everything, you know. Not the time, but the bread. Oh yeah, you got you got your shit back plus some, you know. So, um, being as though that they like see me going up and shit because they thought that my shit was over. But being as though that they see me going up and shit, now it's like Okay, well, how about that you just give me this? How about you give me that? How about that we come back and we be cool and <laughs> forget everything that I did to you, forget that I left you high and dry and just, you know. No you turns Can't spin a bin. Nah, you know, like, I'm, I'm a nice-ass person to you do something to me because, mind you, I, I listen, I'm the sweetest fucking person, but you always got to know that the sweetest person have a different side, you know. Mm-hmm. And that side of me has to come out when it's people who's trying to play with me. Cause do not play with me. Like, come on now. Mm. We can't. I won't play with you, so 
please believe that you're not going to play with me on no fucking day, you know? So being as though that, you know, I was played with, if it's up, then it's fucking stuck with whoever. Whoever, because at the end of the uh, day, like, I'm too good of a, too good of a fucking person to have went through what I went through, you know? So if it is the manager out there saying, I owe you some bitch, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Do you ever worry at, um, at all because of the experiences that you had with your management that it will be a similar situation with a label? Um, you know something? Crazy part is, nah, I don't. I, I don't even have that worry no more because being as though that I went through everything that I went through, now I can read a contract to you frontwards, backwards, crisscross, naked, clothed, mm. everything. You know, I can, I can read that shit to you. And before I even send a contract to my to my uh, lawyer, I would read that shit myself. And if and if it's something that I don't like in this contract, I'm not even sending it. Like yeah. people say, hey, well, maybe you just need to tell them to like take out the price you don't like. Fuck nah, because if after I tell you what I went through, and you still put some fucked up shit in this contract, fuck you. Mm. I can't do it. I can't like I I cannot be played with ever again ever. Ever. So you had to go through some of them things to even learn. Fuck yeah. It, but isn't it, isn't it fortunate that you went? Hell yeah. Because I want to say this fair because I don't know what you've been through, right? And mm-hmm. it sounds like it was something crazy. So I want to be okay, all fair. T- give me a second. So, no, nah, I got you. I got you. I'm spin it. Not what you went through when I say fortunate, but isn't it fortunate that you got through that first before you got to this level? Fuck yeah. When I say I'm so fucking happy that I went through everything that I went through in the beginning of my career because I ain't really have shit to lose. I had a couple records and that shit wasn't shit, you know. And that was it. I ain't, I ain't had no money. I ain't had no royalties. I ain't had shit. So it's like, I um, I asked that question because I I interviewed um Carl Crawford. That's uh Megan Thee Stallion's old label rep or label owner uh-huh. manager. And you know, I was thinking like it's so unfortunate that you know both management and artists. So like mm-hmm. without being biased or whatever, it's so unfortunate that a, a small time management company or small time label can put so much into an artist and not recruit the whatever they they put in right Mm -hmm. but at the same time it's unfortunate for an artist to be you know hungry Mm -hmm. because i don't want to say desperate but so hungry that they take a deal that might not be best for them Mm -hmm. and then they gotta pay for it on the back end yeah because they didn't know any better Mm -hmm. so i want i I, I look at your situation and i think um it's dope because you you don't have to worry about going through that no more because you kind of went through that already Mm -hmm. so you now you say i'm gonna read every every deal that come everything 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 that come across my table everything that's fire everything like i sit down for hours reading that shit like (laughs) yeah I nah, read that shit. I think that's fine. And I think that's something that um, more people need to know. Because a lot of people, they, they, they hear about getting signed. And first thing they think is, like, I'm going to get put on. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to yeah. do this. So they just sign in. They want to die line. What I want to tell people with, with that shit is do not sign nothing that you ain't motherfucking read. Don't sign shit that you ain't read. Mm. Like that you ain't read, that you ain't had no lawyer read. Do not sign shit. Don't sign shit. I don't give a fuck if you trust this person with your fucking life, do not sign a motherfucking thing until you have somebody read it. Let me ask you this then. Uh-huh. A lot of times when we when we hear these um these situations of being signed to a label, mm-hmm. the label provide a, a um a lawyer. We all know that that's not the right thing to do, mm-hmm. but being an upcoming artist, mm-hmm. <clears throat> who do you get in replace of a lawyer if you can't afford a lawyer? How, how, who do you get to 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 read over the the, the documentation with you? Um Ooh, uh, honestly speaking, you got to get a lawyer. <laughs> mm. You got to get a lawyer. Like, you have to invest in your fucking craft. Like, if you cannot afford a lawyer, you cannot afford to sign that fucking piece of paper. Mm. Fuck that. Sheesh. I don't give a fuck how much of a dream that they selling you that they going to break you. They going to do. do not sign no fucking paper. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Hustle it. Hustle. Until you can get a fucking lawyer. And if you can't get no lawyer, then you don't you don't need to be no fucking rapper. Whew. Or do what I do. If you read that contract and you don't know a word that's in that bitch, Google that bitch, right? Google that shit. This had them true. motherfuckers using this fucking sentence. Had them, like, had them tell you what that word mean. Mm. And if you still do not get it, don't sign that shit. Ask the people who gave you that contract, what the fuck is this word right here? You know, because they shouldn't be mad at you, mad at you asking questions. Be like, what this word right here mean? What does this sentence right here mean? Why you put that right there? What it? How does that help you out? Mm. Or you can actually ask people to have the fucking 
contract written in layman's terms that's like regular. Mm -hmm. Like, do not put no fucking lawyer shit in this contract. Put everything to where I can read that shit as a regular person. Because they would try to lawyer, lawyer word a contract down. Like, down to a fucking T, for real. Like, for real. You gotta, you gotta read that shit, for real. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. We about to go, I promise. I'm not... If Listen, you, I got as much time as <laughs> as much time as you have. All right, I appreciate that. If you got time. If if you had to choose, if you had it your way, mm -hmm. which would you choose? Solely independent, or be signed to a major label? <laughs> I be signed to to a major label. Mm. I be signed to a major label with a contract that's like very fucking like it's like. It's like equal. It's like even. Mm -hmm. But I have a very good deal. Like my deal is good as shit, you know. So I wouldn't switch my deal for no other deal on this fucking planet. What makes a deal good though? Um, to where both both parties are getting exactly what they need to be getting, mm -hmm. basically. To where you don't, to where you don't have to sacrifice to give somebody something because you can't have it. Basically, it's mm -hmm. like nah, you just yeah. It works for both of us. Fifty fifty. And if it ain't fifty fifty, then the artist has to get more always, cause it makes sense. It don't, it don't make sense to sign a fucking contract to where the fucking label is raping you out of out of every fucking thing that you have. You can't do that. Yo, um, Snatch is going crazy right now, mm -hmm. but you're not. This ain't nothing that you're not used to. You've been going viral for shit long as we can know. Mm -hmm. But it's always something about that first time. It's always something about that first time. Yeah. The first time that I ever went viral was Ratchet Track song. That was the first fucking viral song I've had. Wait. The first time you went viral was the Dej Loaf thing. Yeah. That right? Was, yeah. That was that So was when that. I say it's always something about that first time, right? Uh-huh. You lit. Uh-huh. That's the fuck. Or whatever the young kids say nowadays, right? <laughs> you, 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 you lit as the fuck. Yeah. Do you still... Do, do you ever think about still hitting up Dej Loaf to this day? Um... Mm. I be like wanting to just send her like the little video of me going viral, like hey, I'm going for a song. <laughs> but I'm I am such a awkward person. Like I really have to get out of this. But I'm so awkward. Like I don't I don't know how to like reach out to people and be like, hey, do you want to work? Like, hey, do you want to do a song with me? Or you know, like I'm just so awkward because like I just feel like now that I'm in the industry and i'll be seeing this shit happen to people like firsthand like people are not nice so when you mm. reach out to a motherfucker they might be on some fucked up shit to you you know so i just don't know you know but um i really have to get up out of it because just as well as i'm peeping this um artist they ass might be peeping me too like hey hell yeah we gonna work together you no, know thanks. so um i think it's just like my my own i don't know but you about to do a song with somebody. Um, it wasn't Lotto. It was a uh, who you who you who you working with? You about to drop a song with? Huh? You about to drop a song with somebody? Mm -hmm. You already said it. I never said you that. You did. How no, I know? The fuck, I didn't. I ain't, did. I say I'm dropping a song with anybody? You did. You said I it's never coming. Said with who? Oh my god! I never said it. I never said that. So 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 you dropping a song with somebody big, right? Potentially. So how do I know that? Um, um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you honestly. I never said we gotta run these. It's, clips it's, it's, it's a girl, right? I mean, potentially. But wait a minute, wait a minute. I I have not said that I'm dropping a song with anybody. I just said that I was that that I'm nervous to like reach out to other artists because you know I'm you know just, just not in nervous. this interview. Uh -huh. But I watched something where you said you have something. Oh, May. Okay, yeah. Um. That may happen, you know. I'm hoping that it happens. Who? Oh, well. Uh. You already said the name. Mm -hmm. You already said it. I swear I did. Oh, my God. I'm going to go back. I I'm going to send it to you. Send it. Send it to me. And if you put me wrong, I'm be like, oh, shit. I did say that. Then we, this, I cannot this what we're think gonna about do. no name I said. That's what we're going to do. That's All what we're right. going to do. We're not recording now. That's what we're going to do. I'm mad at my word too. You can shake on it. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. What I'm, what I'm. I'm gonna just shake it on my word first. I'm gonna shake on my. You ain't making no word. I'm shaking on my word. Okay, come. On. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you my word. I'm gonna give. I'm giving you my word. Ah, it's like signing the contract. Wait no, it's not. What is it? This is my word. This <laughs> not your it? word. What is it? So look, that's what I'm gonna say. This okay. Is, this is what I was gonna say. Uh huh. You say the name, right? Uh, okay. If I find it, so it's two things. Uh -huh. If I find it and it's wrong, I'm gonna bleep it out. 
If I don't find it, I'm gonna bleep it out. But if I find it, I'm gonna keep it in. I feel like that's fair. That's fair. Ain't that fair? I never said a name though. I mean, that's fair. And then I'm gonna look crazy. So if I bleep it out, they're gonna know that I was wrong. <laughs> so I mean, that, that's fair. That, that's fair. I would I would hope to collab with every fucking female rap artist in the motherfucking game in the motherfucking the future. Gotta, they got a hold to her. They got a hold of her. Listen, listen, listen. Who's the coach? Who's your coach? Huh? Who's your coach? They teaching. They teaching you. You, you can't listen, ready your ready. Listen. You ready? Listen. Let me tell you. I will hope to collab with every fucking female artist in the fucking game because these bitches worked for their fucking spot. Mm. Not to be calling them bitches, but y'all, you, know, you know, what's up, bitches? You know, but still, like, they, they fucking worked for their spot. You know, like, I have, I have followed most of their journeys, and some of them came from nothing, you know? Some of them came from the hood, you know? Some of them came from poverty. Some of them came from nothing, you know? So being this though that I'm just seeing them come from nothing to fucking having everything, it's like, yes, bitch, like, I'm coming to who? Wait nah, it's all good. You just taught me something. I mean, you ain't teach me something, but now I, I just knew I was going to come in. We was going to have a great conversation. I'm like, man, I know it. I, I watched it. Now I got to write down shit for everybody. If I would have wrote it down, now I'm embarrassed. I don't like it. I hate it. You embarrassed? Oh, my God. I mean, not really, but. No. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a perfectionist in me. What's, okay. what, what bag is this you were talking about? You, oh, okay, going. okay. My daughter, her name is Bonquisha. What is it? Oh, it's an LV. Oh, ooh. Louis Vuitton. Okay. Von Quisha. Big now, money. I'm, I am. I am. I. I am just kidding. She doesn't have a name yet. Um, how new is it? Three. Three days new. Because you days came new. in and put it on the motherfucking table. Like, yeah, fall. she. She need her own spot right now because this is my first Louis. I like that. So, um, yeah. the artist you might be working with, who is it? Yeah. Um, any female artist in this fucking game because <laughs> yeah. y'all bitches are fucking taking over. We gonna be number one. Fuck that. You're not supposed to be this ready. You're not supposed to be this prepared. You're supposed to slip up. You're supposed to slip oh, up. I have my time to slip up. <laughs> the liquor got me on my toes right now. You know? The liquor got you ain't even drink nothing. Who? Oh my god, man. You ain't even drink a lot. I would offer you a shot, but you can't even have one right now. I would have took it too. Mm, I, 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 I it's drink. It's crazy. It's I drink. crazy. I, I'm a pretty good. It's drink. crazy how you go get your procedure done when it's time for us to have a drink together. So you know it's crazy. What? First of all, my apologies, but um, I was supposed to have it next week. They called me early and said um, that I want to come in today. Hell yeah, I would have. I would have took that shit I'm too. To get it out the way. That's cool. I would have took that shit too. Yeah, but I feel bad because I ain't. I ain't drink. It probably have been worse because I probably would have been saying names, but it was a name. I'm gonna figure it out. I swear to God. Yeah, it was a wait. girl, and she was lit. And you said you about to drop something with her or something like that. No, no, no. I might have said that I was that I, that I was supposed to have a girl on one on one of my songs, but then it was going viral to where my label had to just drop the shit. But I but I never said. Yeah. Who was it? Who was it? It was Ken, the motherfucking man, bitch. Shout out to you, ho. No, it wasn't that one. It was her. It, 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 that wasn't the one I was thinking about. Well, I don't know. Ken, the man lit though. Hey, y'all is a motherfucker. Y'all 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 ain't never do none of those. Her ass fat too. Mm -hmm. Y'all never do none of those. Um. No, not yet. Y'all should. Yet. You feel me? Yet. Because it's coming. You know, oh, that's fire. I'm coming, Ken. It's coming. Hell yeah. That'd be hard. Yo, no, I appreciate you for pulling up, man. Um, Let people know how to support you, follow you, and everything, man. And you got to follow me back because. Fuck yeah. I'm sorry. Hold wait. on. Wait, wait. First, let me just follow you back first, okay? Yeah, please, because. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me okay. Um, okay. Okay. Type your name in. Yeah. Let me get you. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. But go ahead. Tell them how to, how to follow you while I'm. Y'all can follow me on every motherfucking platform. Okay, so listen. Let me just tell y'all something first. Tell them. Before y'all before I tell y'all follow me on every platform. Um, I used to have like different names on every platform and nobody told my slow ass to like <laughs> make it the same name. So eh, okay. But follow me on every fucking platform on at Big Boss Vet, okay? The big one. B I G B O S S V E T T E. Follow me, Big Boss Vet, every fucking platform. Um, go stream my fucking music on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, every motherfucking platform, Big Boss Vet. Some still might be on the e -Vet, but it's still the same, bitch. You know, I'm still there, you know. Um, Tell them to do the dance, too. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 do that snatch, you know. <laughs> Hold on, yeah. I'm going to tell my daughter to do that. Yo, how old is she? Uh, she probably be 13. Okay, she can do it. She can do it. She can do it. She can do it. They do Because I've actually seen like them, like, I have seen some kids do my dance, but they did it, like, so, like, um age appropriate. I'm like, fuck yeah. But they Let do shit like, that. they do shit like that and that. Like, she dances for um dancing dolls. Like, all them girls. Oh, my God. She shit. really do? Yeah. That like, is so. Tara, I'm, I'm so proud of her. No, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to show her your video. She probably already do this shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> she probably already do it. I'm like, what the fuck Send is she Send me her fucking video. Send me her. Ha! 
Stop. Because you ain't snatching shit. But she great. Tell her. Tell her ass. Tell her. Tell but for her. the sake of it, I, I might. I just. Yeah. Whatever. These let her do, let her do it so I, can, so I can post that shit. I gave you an hour on a fucked up tooth. And I hit my tooth a few times. I don't know if you noticed it. But like it like clink. Clink oh. together. Ooh. Oh, that shit hurt. So I just want to show you the love is real. The love is real. Thank you so much. The love is real. No problem. Thank you I so appreciate much. you, man. Mr. J Hill, Big Boss Vet. It's a wrap. We out.